Hi, I'm Nicole Yershin and I'm speaking to you from isolation, which I'm sure a lot of you are all in the same situation, all 7 billion of us around the world. Something that really kind of inspired me and, and made me think that was was very interesting was this thing called the Kubler-Ross change curve. I saw a diagram of it recently, which um, resonated. And it shows the different stages of grief from shock all the way through to integration. So uh, denial, frustration, depression, experiment, decision. And it shows how we as humans react to crisis. And by the way, when I showed it to my dad and asked him how he was feeling, he went straight from shock to decision in a flat second. Um, we get the initial shock, it makes us reel back, we don't like it, we're unsure what it will mean and it creates all kinds of uncertainty and then we descend in frustration, possibly a bit of depression and then with luck we start to emerge and turn the curve into a new reality um, for opportunity and even obviously taking advantage of it all. So this is just what happens and it's because we're humans and it's natural and not something to be ashamed of. But being isolated is a first thing first time thing for me i don't know about anybody else i really didn't like it at first very much out of my comfort zone um and guess what it's it's tough and i start every day full of good intentions and wa watch one of several million online events and it's really easy for me to start drifting and switch off after about 10 minutes um, stuff doesn't seem to stay in my brain for longer than a few seconds sometimes the memory of a goldfish and it's way too easy for me to get distracted by news bulletins or notifications popping up on my screens. Kind of screen time is, is really um, out of control. And um, calendars have been, you know, my calendars are getting full up with virtual happy hours and house parties. And, and it's, it's exhausting even for me. So um, it's not like you can say I'm busy or I'm out for dinner. It's intensely repetitive. And without the interaction that I normally have with clients and performing, it really makes me feel out of my comfort zone and lacking a purpose. And But again, I, I just guess this is completely normal. But I, again, feel like I'm living in a monastery at times, like I'm slowly losing the art of conversation. And especially when I'm asked, you know, how what have I been doing today? Uh, same as I've been doing every day for the last four weeks. So now I guess it's time to take a complete turn and, and accept that it's a real time for reflection to just be okay with being okay and things will change again because they always do. Signing off, I'm Nicole and, and I hope everyone is corona safe. Much love.